Play Zoo friends, my name is Jenny. Thanks for joining us for the Hamill Family Play Zoo video series, bringing the Play Zoo to you. Spring rains can make the ground wet and muddy. Today, we will use our senses to explore and celebrate mud. Let's go. You might think of mud as something gross or something that you don't want to touch, but mud is a wonderful part of nature. Mud is simply dirt that has gotten wet. When the ground is muddy, we know that there is water in the ground. That tells us that plants are getting the water that they need to be healthy. Mud can be very helpful to animals like the rhinoceros. Rhinos love to wallow in the mud. That means that they lay down, roll around, and soak in the mud. Rhinos need to wallow in mud because it keeps their skin moist and healthy. Wallowing in the mud also helps rhinos to stay cool. Mud protects the rhino's skin from getting sunburned and from getting bitten by insects. Lots of animals use mud, just like rhinos do. When dirt gets wet and transforms into mud, there are lots of new and interesting sights, smells, and textures to explore. And since spring in Illinois can bring a lot of rain, it's a great time to explore mud. One way to explore mud is to find a muddy patch of ground after it rains. If the ground is wet, we can bring along a plastic bag or a tarp to keep us dry while we explore. And we should wear clothes that we can get dirty. We can explore how the mud feels and smells. Hmm, the smell reminds me of rain and of working in the garden. I wonder what will happen if we add water to the mud. Let's observe how the mud looks and feels as it changes. We can also make our own mud to play with. We can dig dirt from our yard or garden and add water. Just remember that you can't use potting soil to make mud. Only topsoil will do. We can experiment with how much water to add to make our mud look and feel just the way we want it to. Mud has a very special and unique texture. It can be wet and sticky. We can squeeze it and pat it. <laughs> mud can also be squishy and slippery. We can splash it and scoop it. Remember, it's okay to get dirty when you explore mud. And if you don't like how it feels, you can use a glove to touch it or use tools to explore. That was fun. Mud is an amazing and important element of nature. We'd love to hear stories about your mud explorations. Send your photos and stories to the address on your screen. See you next time.